Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Are you curious about the recent breakthroughs to a long and healthier life? Well, this new review I'm about to explain is what scientists have discovered concerning an amino acid called glycine. And it's one of my two go supplements. I take 5,000 milligrams a day, 2,500 twice daily. I take it together though, I take it together with NAC powder. Okay, I take 3,600 milligrams with the NAC. It is clearly proven that it extends lifespan in rats and improves the health of mammals with age-related diseases. Of course, we'll discuss how glycine affects health span and lifespan in humans as well. The magic of glycine lies in its multiple pathways. It's found in collagen, helping to build essential substances like glutathione and creatine in our bodies. But wait, there's more. Glycine is involved in a process regulated by an enzyme called glycine and methyl transferase, GNMT for short, which helps remove another amino acid called met methionine from our bodies. And guess what? Methionine can affect aging. Additionally, another substance called spermidine, known for its positive effects on lifespan, also relies on GNMT to work its magic. As animals age, they experience a decline in sarcosine levels, which is a product of GNMT activity. But guess what? Sarcosine is a trigger for a process called autophagy, which helps cleanse and rejuvenate our cells. Based on all this exciting evidence, glycine seems to promote longevity by imitating the effects of methionine restriction and activating autophagy, benefiting the health and lifespan of our cells. So let's take a deep dive into this new review. In the 1930s, experiments showed that restricting certain nutrients can make rats and water fleas live longer. Since then, scientists have discovered that this dietary restriction without causing malnutrition can also extend the lifespan and improve health in various animals, from simple to complex ones. The way this works involves different processes in the body, such as reducing fat, regulating certain genes, and promoting a cleanup process called autophagy. Recent research has found other interesting ways to extend lifespan, like limiting certain amino acids called branch chain amino acids, and as I mentioned earlier, methionine. Methionine restriction, for example, has been shown to make mice live longer and protect them from age-related health issues. It's like mimicking the effect of dietary restriction without actually reducing all food intake. Another important acid is, of course, glycine, which has also been shown to increase lifespan in animals. Glycine is involved in a process where it takes a part of a molecule called methyl group and creates another substance called sarcosine. This process is regulated by an enzyme called glycine and methyltransferase, GNMT, like I mentioned earlier, and it plays a significant role in controlling the levels of methionine in the body. Glycine has other roles too. It helps make antioxidants like glutathione, which becomes less abundant as we age. Additionally, sarcosine, the substance created by GNMT and glycine, is associated with certain aging processes in the body. Glycine also is essential for collagen, which is crucial for building creatine and acts as a neurotransmitter in the brain. So, what about lifespan studies? Scientists have done many studies to see if glycine can make animals live longer. They, they did it with animals first. One study with genetically diverse mice found that adding 8% glycine to their food increased lifespan by about 3.7% for the female mice and 6.2% for the male mice. In another study, which included rats, different doses of glycine were tested, and the 8% dose was the most effective. In another study with mice, adding both glycine and NAC, and acetylcysteine to their diet, made them live longer. Scientists also looked at GNMT, the enzyme I mentioned earlier, which is mainly found in the liver and plays a role in converting glycine to sarcosine. In flies, when they increase the amount of GNMT, the flies live longer. They found the same effect in fruit flies when they made GNMT more active in their fat bodies. So, there is growing evidence that glycine may have a positive impact on aging and could help living beings live longer and healthier lives if they are animals. What about studies concerning health span? More important than just living longer is staying healthy and free from chronic diseases and disabilities as we age. Scientists have found that glycine seems to target aging 
and has a positive impact on health in animals. In mice, they were fed a high-fat diet, adding lysine to their diet reduced inflammation, improved the gut's protective barrier, and made them more sensitive to insulin, which is good for managing blood sugar. In another study, in obese mice with glucose intolerance, glycine, along with dietary restrictions, helped them lose fat while preserving their lean muscle mass. In mice, another study in mice with cancer-related weight loss, glycine injections prevented muscle loss and reduced inflammation. In a different study, glycine also improved blood vessel function in all the rats, helped them with memory problems in mice with brain inflammation, increased bone density in mice with hormone-related bone loss, slowed the growth of tumors in mice with melanoma, and protected against heart enlargement in mouse models. It is apparent that studies in rodents suggest that glycine not only extends their lifespan, but also improves their metabolism and reduces the risk of certain diseases. What about human studies? What does it do? What do the clinical studies say? Well, glycine has been linked to various health benefits also in human studies. In diabetic patients, taking 5,000 milligrams of glycine daily for three months reduces inflammation and a marker of blood sugar called HbA1c. In people with metabolic syndrome, taking 15,000 milligrams of glycine daily for three months helped them lower systolic blood pressure. In another study, patients who had a stroke took 1,000 milligrams or 2,000 milligrams of glycine daily for five days, improved their stroke recovery scores. In another study, taking 6,000 milligrams of glycine daily for eight weeks helped patients with an overreactive bladder improve their urine storage. In addition, taking 3,000 milligrams of glycine daily for three days reduced fatigue in people with sleep restrictions. Another study, in a group of older adults taking 100 milligrams per kilogram a day of glycine along with 100 milligrams per kilogram daily of NAC, equivalent to 7.5 grams of each for a 165 pound person, improved markers related to aging, including reducing pro-inflammatory markers. Glycine also plays a role in memory and learning. It is a co-agonist of NMDA receptors, which are important for memory function. Some studies have shown that glycine might help improve memory in younger and middle-aged adults. The amount of glycine found in the blood may also be important for health. Studies have found that higher levels of glycine in the blood are linked to a reduced risk of heart problems, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. Overall, glycine shows promise in improving various health conditions and may, help a may have a positive impact on aging and memory in humans. In conclusion, putting these studies together, it seems likely that glycine extends lifespan by mimicking the effects of dietary restriction and promoting autophagy, a process that helps clean up cells. Overall, glycine shows promise and influence aging processes in various organisms. Scientists have found that glycine might have a protective effect against aging and can make animals live longer and healthier. They have seen this in simple organisms like worms, flies, and mice. However, there are still many questions that need answers. Can taking glycine as a supplement in humans reduce signs of aging? Does glycine work even if some important genes related to aging are missing? Also, they want to know if combining glycine with other methods like eating less methionine could have an impact on lifespan. Researchers also want to understand how glycine affects certain molecules in the body like spermidine, which is related to aging processes. Overall, the evidence so far shows that glycine might help mice and rats age better. So far, the evidence that glycine will help a human live longer is scarce. Despite this, it is one of the main supplements which I take with NAC, creating my own Glynac. Like I said earlier, personally, I take 5,000 milligrams of glycine and 3,600 milligrams of NAC daily, half in the morning, half at night. That is proven in human studies to benefit people. Okay, as for the methionine and all the other stuff I mentioned in this review, even the better if it works. However, I do know that it works, that it works as a glynac. They work together. So I am going to continue taking this. And personally, they are harmless. And I suggest anyone over 50, anyone over 45, anyone over 50, should take both of these. And anyone over 25, Start taking glycine. That's just my personal opinion. As always, 
you need to speak to a medical provider before you decide to take these supplements or any other supplement to see if it meets your needs. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this review. I did. And see you soon in my next video.